Hi there, it's Nicole from Max Foundry, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom WordPress button. I'm going to use the Max Buttons Pro plugin, and the first step is to open up your WordPress website dashboard, and then click on the Max Buttons Pro icon. In the top left of the screen, click the Add New button to get started. Right away, you can see the default button in the preview window in the top right corner. As you change the settings, this preview will update in real time to show you what your button looks like. To start, we'll create a name for the button. If you like, you can add a description with more detail as to what you will use this button for. In this demo, I am going to create an Add to Cart button, and so I am going to leave the description blank. The URL field is the page this button leads to when it is clicked. You can fill it in now, or you can come back and edit it later. The next step is to change the dimensions and choose the size of the button. Depending on where the button will be placed on your website, the optimal size of the button can vary. For call to action buttons on a home page, those should usually be bigger. But if you want an Add to Cart button next to all of the products that you're selling on your website, you'll probably want a smaller, more compact button. My Add to Cart button for this demo will be 140 pixels wide by 40 pixels tall. Next, I'll add the text to the button. Add to Cart. For this design, I'm going to use all caps for the text, but you can choose the look you would like and select any font or style. I'm going to choose Open Sans Google Font that is pre-installed with the plugin and a font size of 14. In order to center the text vertically, on the button, I will need to adjust the default padding. I'm going to set it to 14, 15, 0, 0. If I need to, I can come back and adjust this once I've added the icon, and you'll find that depending on the size of the text and the type of text, these numbers will change. Next, I scroll down to the icon section. Today I'm going to use a font awesome icon that is also preloaded into the Max Buttons Pro plugin. I click on the box for use font awesome icon and then I use the select icon button. With over 674 icons to choose from, this makes it very easy to make a button that looks great and is simple and easy to create. So I'm going to scroll down and select the icon I'd like to use. Choose one of the plus icons. So looking at the preview window, I see that the icon size is too big for my button and I adjust it. To 20 pixels. Then I need to position it using the padding. Entering in 11 pixels from the top centers the icon vertically and then I use the left padding value of about 12 to move it closer to the center horizontally and the right padding value of 5 to create space between the icon and the text. The adjustments depend on the size of your icon and sometimes you have to play around with the numbers until it looks right to you. Next, I'd like this to be a flat button design so I'm going to take away the border, shadow and gradient. To do this, I scroll down to the border section and change the values for both the border width and the border shadow 
to 0. Again, in the preview window, it shows that now the border in the shadow has been removed. There are so many options, and it's completely up to you. To remove the gradient, I scroll up to the color section. Here, I'm going to click on the first green box and select the color I'd like. Then, I'm going to copy using my keyboard commands and paste that color code in across. I'd like this button to be gray and then when someone hovers over the button with their mouse it's going to turn orange. So in the hover color boxes below I'm going to choose the orange color and then copy and paste it across. And there we go. This button is complete and all I need to do is scroll to the top and hit the save button. Now this button is ready to use on any page or post of my WordPress website. All I have to do is copy the button shortcode and it will appear on any page. Thanks for checking out our video on how to make a WordPress button, and we look forward to seeing what you can create with Max Buttons Pro.